Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are gonna review our March budget. What happened? Did we learn any lessons? Let's talk all the things. Let's talk all the things. Y'all know in the beginning of the month, we make a financial game plan. We make the game plan. We lay it out. And then the whole month, we try our best to live by that plan. Of course, things don't go as expected. I mean, I don't even expect things to go as expected because life is fun and life is spontaneous and life just loves to play with you in the name of an emergency, in the name of something breaks, in the name of, oh, dag, I forgot to add this or I forgot to add that. But it is all good. It is all good because once you have a guideline, a blueprint, you can adjust. You can adjust. So let's talk about March. Let's talk about my life in March and what actually happened. <laughs> All right, so on this side of the paper is what actually, is what I projected. And then on this side of the paper is what actually happened. And then if it's highlighted in pink, it means I did better than expected. And if it's highlighted in blue, it means I did not quite as I expected, it came in a little high. We came in a little hot, okay? So here we go. For the month of March, I expected to bring in $11,115. And this is the money I expected to have hit my pay, my bank account. What actually happened is I brought in a little bit more, about $70 more. I don't know, I don't know math. $11,201 is what I actually bought in. Okay, $97 went to the HOA. I said $131 for the gas, but it actually came in a little higher at $145. $165 the electricity. $224 is for the cell phone bill, and that is for three phones. $85 is for my internet service, and that is for high-speed internet. Security, I said $120 and it actually was only $86 and that is because I canceled the security on my rental property and I just had to pay about $36 for the um, prorated amount that I needed to pay. Rental, $200 I had to add to my rental account to cover the expenses. Insurance, $162 and that is for two cars and somebody else's insurance that I pay. Easy Pass, $25. Car registration. I set aside $200, but honestly, guys, I have not paid my car registration yet. I really do need to. But the money's still sitting there, so we're going to count that as part of my March budget. $880 is what I set aside for my rental HOA, and I did not pay that either. What does this thing do? I got the bill right here, and the bill actually says $931. Ooh, I'm late. Ooh, okay. $931 was due on March 15th. And that's sad because y'all see I had the money. Y'all seen it. But I was just too lazy to actually pull up this bill that's right here on a piece of paper. Go to the website that's right here on a piece of paper and make the payment. So because I'm late, it says if I pay after March 29th, miss that date too because today's the 3rd, I got to pay 946 And it's all good because I did set aside the extra money because I knew I was... I knew I was messed up. So I got to pay 936 oh, 946 947 Let's round it up. Minus 880 So I needed to add $67 from April. We got that covered. I set that aside. But again, that's... that's um. Uh, pull out my calculator. Wait a minute, guys. 946 my oops 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 946 minus 931 that's $15 that I'm just giving away at this point I'm giving away $15 when if I wanted to give away $15 I could have gave away $15 to somebody who I wanted to have $15 and not those folks okay so $55 for business fees and really that's vidIQ and then that's some YouTube subscription services that I pay. I think I'm separating it differently in um, April. I'm doing the YouTube memberships that I pay. I'm putting that under the gifts and then $49 is business is um, vidIQ. 
groceries. I say $200 for groceries. Groceries is actually coming in at $225. And the reason is because for the month of March, many of you knew know that I did freaking cash envelopes. So that meant that I pulled the $200. Once I pulled it, it was as good as spent. I spent it somewhere, even if it wasn't on groceries. However, I did not really, I'm not sure if I really kept good track on that. My cash envelope video will be coming out soon. Or it's out already. I don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. But the cash envelope video will be coming out explaining whatever. But the point is, because I also had um, um coffee subscriptions that came in at $25, I had to add that to groceries. Normally, typically, my groceries would never go over, even with the $25 in coffee. It would never go over. But because, again, I pulled the cash, it went over. $100 for restaurants. Household miscellaneous, $50, and then $20. And all of this is all janky because, once again, Dargon cash envelopes. And I spent cash in cash envelopes, and I had to stick it somewhere. So I just said, let me just throw it here under this household miscellaneous because who knows? Who knows? Fun miscellaneous, $15. And that is for Audible. Once again, I did a free subscription service and forgot to freaking cancel it. So it came in again. Um, and then I decided there is some books that I want to listen to. So I'm just going to use it for this month to listen to those books. But I'm going to cancel it after this. So technically, that should be subscriptions. But we're using it for fun. And we don't plan on keeping it as a subscription. So when we get down to subscriptions, $25 for subscriptions. That is for Netflix. And that is for YouTube Premium. Nails, I said $85. But we got zero because we did not get these nails done and they really do need to be done but they didn't get done in the month of march lashes 125 dollars orlando i set aside 300 dollars in the name of cash envelopes but i only spent 50 dollars going to disney world and playing in miami with jay giving i said 606 i said 660 dollars and i actually gifted away 808 dollars 401k, $1,500. Health savings account, $200. Savings, I set, well, $835. Mortgage, $2,582. And then you all know, check out the eye in the sky, that I am on a mission to pay this home off sooner rather than later. And so I said I was going to set do $1,500. But what I do is at the end of the month, I see what do I have left over? What do I have remaining that I did not spend in my budget? And then I send that extra to the goal. And that goal was my mortgage. And so I actually sent $2,416 extra to the mortgage. And that is it, y'all. That is my month of March. That is what happened. That is the story that my money told about me for this month. What story is your money out there telling about you? Until the next video, guys, don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a member of the Fun and Budget tribe. And talk to me in the comments below. Until the next video, guys. Peace.